Welcome to my series of Become Unbeatable. Here is where I'm going to teach you how to use any weapon system and strategies that you can implement in battle. In today's lesson, how to aim conventional rockets. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and consider buying me a coffee to help me endure nights while editing. Check the description for more information. Alright, conventional rockets are purely based on skill rather than a universal weapon system that you can follow for any aircraft. Because among all nations we can find all type of rockets with different mass velocity, warhead and efficient penetration angle, meaning that they will perform differently and the game only provides a very basic reticle for aiming before CCIP. So, instead of giving you the exact numbers for every rocket and aircraft, I will provide you with the necessary knowledge and reference so you can practice more productively. Ok, I'm going to use an American plane as a reference, but remember, I'm going to give you hints and not specific numbers for every aircraft. Now, despite the weapon, your speed, altitude and angle plays a huge role here, because the initial speed of your rocket is equal to your aircraft's current speed, meaning that the faster you fly, the longer it will travel. This can influence how we utilize the reticle. At a lower speed, the underline could represent a shorter distance than when you fly faster. During close air support or CAS, we want to fly fast and keep our distance. In a horizontal engagement, we want to use a lower line of our reticle since that will give us the maximum distance that we can achieve while aiming with it. But what is the distance, you may ask? Well, it depends, it changes according to your speed, your rocket speed, mass and so forth. On my P-51, I selected the HVAR rockets for testing. I'm going to fly at about 500 kph and 400 meters of altitude. And on this configuration, my reticle underline represents about 2000 meters. In ground RB battles, you don't get to know your target's distance, but you can use the map's capture points as a reference. This method is difficult to pull off in test flight and even more in battle, since you need to manage too many things at the same time. But at lower BRs, you don't need to worry about anti-air vehicles with advanced tracking system nor radar, so you can climb and fire rockets on a dive, where you can simply use the center of your reticle, since your rocket will almost fly in a straight line. At higher BRs, diving is not as easy anymore, but you get to use salvo rockets. On a plane like the A4, the same speed and altitude from my previous test, 500 kph and 400 meters of altitude, the reticle on their line still represents 2000 meters from your target. But what makes it easier is that you can fire multiple rockets to guess your distance since you can carry dozens or hundreds of rockets. You can also try diving on a target, but be careful with anti-air attacks. Now, if you are wondering about aiming from the cockpit, well, your best bet will be engaging on a dive. Getting too close to an enemy by approaching at low altitude would certainly get you killed most of the time. Remember, this is a skill, so go practice with your desired rocket following all the hints that I just gave you to find your best configuration. Now that you know the basis of conventional rockets, you are one step ahead on becoming an unbeatable player. Thank you for watching and special thanks to those who subscribe and like my content. You guys are awesome! Also, check out my Patreon where I offer some nice and cool rewards to those who support me financially. The link is in the description.